Not only is Tesla changing the electric car industry, but now they're even changing car manufacturing. With a simple idea, Elon Musk found a method to produce car parts for their vehicles in a quick and cheap fashion, and it's going to save them a lot of money. So much so that numerous Tesla Gigapress facilities are popping up all over the world. Today, we're going to look into what a Gigapress is exactly. We'll see how it's used and the money that's involved. On top of that, we're also going to examine several Gigapress factories that the company operates. So, let's get started. In January 2021, Elon Musk responded to a tweet stating, quote, With our giant casting machines, we are literally trying to make full-size cars in the same way that toy cars are made, end quote. He was, of course, referring to the Gigapress. Not to be confused with Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada that produces lithium-ion battery and electric car parts. Instead, we're talking about a massive machine. This idea had been rattling around in the minds of Musk and Tesla since the press was put together by the Italian tech company Hydra Group. These presses are aluminum die-casting machines. Essentially, the presses work by melting metal, then forcing the liquid into a reusable mold. After the casting has cooled, facility robots clean it further and cut off any excess pieces. Tesla began using custom gigapresses in 2020, all to help production on the Tesla Model Y. In 2019, Musk stated that the new press process has meant that instead of 70 parts being created at a time, only one large part is made for the car's underbody. Musk also stated that up to 300 robots have been removed from production due to this method. Installing the Gigapress at facilities isn't easy work. Most of the typical presses can weigh up to 430 tons. That's roughly the same as three and a half blue whales. If Hydra is delivering in Europe, it takes them at least 22 flatbed trucks to carry all the weighty parts. Even shipping across to China can take the boat up to 50 days. Up to March 2019, Hydra had 50 million euros, or $58.9 million, in orders for the Gigapress alone. Due to the success of the press with the Model Y, reports came out in March 2021 that Tesla had ordered a more powerful Gigapress that's able to exert 8,000 tons of force. The previous model that they used, the OL6100CS, has up to 6200 TF of clamping force. It's believed that the new machine is being developed with the Cybertruck in mind. The end game for Tesla using Gigapresses is to reduce their operational costs, making their vehicles more affordable for the public to purchase. According to Tesla's website at the time of writing, the Model Y starts from $48,190 with potential savings included. But according to Foundry Management and Technology, who spoke to Tesla, the Gigapress will, quote, reduce build time, operation costs, costs of manufacturing, factory footprint, factory operating costs, tooling costs, and or quantity of equipment, end quote. It's expected that one day the cost of Tesla's vehicles could fall to $25,000. These machines are capable of producing around 1,000 casings each per day. While the exact cost that Tesla spent on their Gigapresses is unknown, we can get a very rough idea. Online, used Hydra models can go for a hefty fee. A used OL2000R version built during 2000 can be sold for around 132,000 euros or around $156,000. However, this model is far smaller and doesn't deliver the same camping force as Tesla's OL6100CS. One of the first Tesla facilities to receive a Gigapress was the Tesla Fremont factory. Back in 2010, Tesla took ownership of a defunct Numi auto manufacturing plant. According to reports, it cost the company $42 million. At the time, the car firm had plans to produce the Model S at the site by 2012. So to help fund the new project, Toyota gave the company $50 million in exchange for Tesla stock. Tesla also splashed out $17 million on assembly machinery left at the site. In 2011, the company decided to invest in a Schuler SMG hydraulic stamping press that was worth $50 million. However, Musk only spent $6 million due to buying it from a troubled supplier. Quite a nice savings. However, it wasn't all easy. In 2014, Tesla was handed a fine of $89,000 due to an accident at the Fremont factory in November 2013. Three workers were burned by molten metal from the low-pressure aluminum casting press failing. In 2020, Fremont would get their first Gigapress. A new structure even had to be built to house the press. However, in March 2021, one of the two presses reportedly installed in Fremont broke down. As a result, a fire broke out from the molten metal escaping the press. 
thankfully, no injuries were sustained. Looking to expand their operation to China, Tesla decided to bid for a lease on a factory in Shanghai. And in October 2018, they won the bidding battle. The firm spent 978 million Chinese yuan, around $140 million at the time, for a 213-acre plot. After snapping up the land, Tesla wanted Giga Shanghai to be running by 2021. Originally, they were looking to initially produce 250,000 cars a year there. They hoped to double that figure in the future. In 2019, Tesla reportedly took a loan from a group of Chinese banks that amounted to $1.4 billion. This cash was to help pay for the extended lease as well as operational costs. The Hong Kong-based LK Technology Holdings, which is the parent company of Hydra Group, reportedly began creating an even bigger die-casting machine in May of 2021. While it's not confirmed that it's for Tesla's Giga Shanghai, this machine is said to be capable of a whopping 9,000 tons of force. Currently, the Shanghai site reportedly has three Impress Plus DCC 6000 Giga Presses in operation there. Each is capable of 6,000 tons of force. Since Musk's SpaceX firm is already mostly based in Texas, it makes sense that Tesla would create Giga Texas as well. Back in 2020, Tesla announced that Austin would be the new site for their factory. At the time, it was reported that the firm was preparing to invest at least $1 billion into creating the facility. The Austin authorities also provided Tesla with tax breaks amounting to at least $60 million over the next decade. Musk has stated that the site will need to hire 10,000 people through 2022 to remain in peak operation. Despite the site still being under construction with plans to be in full car production by 2022, Giga Texas has reportedly received two Giga Presses for their site. In 2019, Musk announced that Europe would get its own Giga factory in Berlin, Germany. According to reports, Tesla would be handed up to 300 million euros or $354 million in subsidies from the European Union for choosing this location. This is handy as early reports stated that building the factory could cost the electric car makers 4 billion euros, around $4.4 .4 billion at the time. The land itself is said to have cost around 41 million euros or 34.8 million US dollars. Giga Berlin was expected to bring in up to 8,000 employees after expanding. However, there were concerns by conservationists. They were worried about potential damage to the environment during the construction of the facility, especially as the original plans meant destroying a part of the nearby forest. To help put mines at ease, Tesla has stated that they will replant any areas they destroy. The Berlin factory is set to get eight gigapresses. Before this news, Tesla was anticipating creating 500,000 vehicles per year. With that many gigapresses, they could potentially produce far more electric cars with some estimates even reaching 1 million vehicles per year. Final fact finish. Since Musk allegedly got the Gigapress idea from a toy car, one of the most expensive Hot Wheels ever made was worth $140,000. Released in 2008 to celebrate their 40th anniversary, the diamond-encrusted custom car was made by Jason of Beverly Hills with the proceeds from the auction going to charity. 2,700 diamonds and 18 karat white gold were used in the design. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.